transplant. Then the hell began. Yeah, I mean, I was like somewhat of a freak. I was full of steroids. My face was, was this large. Um, I had hair growth starting from my eyebrows and up. It was about as grueling and as you could take for the surgery and then let alone the emotional side of it. I mean, I, I didn't fit in with the kids. I, didn't, I couldn't really go back to school. I was like a bubble boy. I was angry, yeah. And, and because inside of this fat body that I had after the surgery, I knew I still had the hand and eye coordination to play some of the sports with the other kids. I changed schools, kind of changed my identity a little bit. And by the time I was 15, um, you know, I started to get stronger. And at this point, I remember even playing with Sergio Garcia, and I was like, wow, you know, he's, he's shooting even par, and I was shooting 100, you know? But remarkably, by age 18, Compton was the country's number one junior player. He was a totally different person. I went to college lighter than I did when I was 12. If you look at pictures from, from my whole life, it's like 60 from people, you know? And for a long while, life was pretty good. He made a decent living at professional golf. And then, last May, a massive heart attack nearly killed him. He collapsed while checking into the very same hospital where he'd had his transplant. And I was just in shock. I believe that I was gonna live forever with that heart. I tried to get back to normal life, but it just, it was like a blown out tire. I mean, I couldn't do anything. It was just, it was like an 80 year old person. And I had to sleep in a chair just like I am right now. And you know, you're wheezing all night with the blood that's filling up in your lungs. And so at age 28, a second heart transplant. Remarkably, he's made it back to the game. For motivation, all he had to do was turn on the television. You know, all my peers now, uh, Camilo and, and Sergio and Trevor and all these guys inspire me because even when I was sick at home, you know, I'd paste my face on their bodies and watch them win tournaments. You know, that's what kind of got me to come back out here. You know, uh, in this game, we throw around superlatives a lot because there are an awful lot of amazing people, but I think this one really goes above and beyond. And something interesting that Compton told me the other day, we were talking, he said that uh, the baby that he and his wife just had, it was actually two weeks ago today, well, that baby is actually the product of four different hearts and a true miracle if you think about it. The three hearts that Eric has had, the one heart that his wife has of course had her whole life and uh, so this is what it's produced and there's the shot the two of them getting together after the round today Eric Compton is certainly one of the more unforgettable people that you will ever run across out here